Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you about banquet serving styles. We are actually in our catered event unit, so it's very important that you are familiar not only with what we use as our buffet service method, but also you are familiar with other service methods so we can maybe have the option of using them um, down the line at our catered event. So the first method that I'm going to introduce you to is your sit-down service. Most of you are probably familiar with sit-down service. You've heard of it before. It's what most, um, when you go to a restaurant, you're having sit-down service. However, at an actual catered event, sit-down service could be quite pricey because you have to pay for more workers or more servers to be on hand, making sure that all the guests receive the same treatment, uh, the same service, and everyone gets fed in a timely manner. So sit-down service is where banquet guests receive their food at their actual seats. This requires lots of planning for the actual event. Now what this means is, for example, if you're having a wedding, and some of you may or may not have had, you know, been to weddings before, but if you're invited to a wedding that is having sit-down service, the person hosting the wedding or having the wedding is going to be asking in your invitation, um, there, there will be like a little card that will say, you know, do you want a chicken option or the beef option? And you'll mark which one you're, you're interested in having. And then you'll send that back in with your response card for the wedding. And the, the person ho having the wedding will be able to give a tally to the caterer. Um, and then when you actually go to the wedding, you'll receive what you ordered. That's to let the caterer know how much, you know, steaks they need to have on hand and prepared to ensure that everybody gets served in a timely manner. Um, it is, this sit-down service is by far the most elegant. It is probably the best for a wedding, things like that, um, where it's a more, you know, elegant, pretty event. Um, so sit-down service says a lot about the actual, you know, ambiance, if they're providing good service, obviously. Um, there are some variations within the actual sit-down service. Um, we're not going to go too much into them, but I do want you to be familiar with some of the other types of service in my next couple of slides. So the next type of service I want you to be familiar with is what called French service. And this is kind of, this is kind of different, kind of interesting. Um, French cuisine, and this is why it's French service. They make a lot of sauces. If you, you know, you taking cuisine, you're familiar with all the types of sauces. Um, so in a French style of service, there's two waiters. So you have the first waiter, which is going to give you your plate of food. So it's still similar to individual sit-down service. Um, and then there's going to be another waiter that is going to ask you if you would like sauce on your dish. Where with just plain sit-down service, you're already going to have sauce on your dish, where with French service, which is a form of sit-down service, you, the second waiter is going to ask you, so you have the actual option of putting the sauce on your dish. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. Um, this is not something you always see in, you know, the United States. Um, it might be an option. It would be something that you would have to, like, request um, to the caterer. The next form of service is called Russian service. Um, Russian service is where trays are, pr are presented to each guest, and then they serve themselves in the trays. Okay, so very basic. It could be really glammed up, and it could also be really glammed down. What's nice about this is um, similar to like a buffet type of service, the... Um, the guests have options, but what's nice compared to Russian versus buffet is at the Russian style, guests don't have to get up. They just have to help, kind of help themselves from the platters, the trays at their table. The next one is very, very familiar or very, very similar to the Russian. It's called table de haute, which means French for host's table. And this is platters of food are set on the table and then the guests are actually going to pass them along. I'm helping themselves. This is very similar to what we call in the United States family style. A restaurant like Buca di Peppo, where it's all Italian food, you order in large quantities and then everybody kind of shares together. Um, so you can kind of get a, a variety of options. A restaurant like Maggiano's for parties and stuff, they will add, offer this type of service so everyone can kind of share together and then everyone's just charged, you know, a flat, the same flat fee of like $24 or whatever each. The next type of service is what we call British service. Very similar, again, to the Russian and to the table d'hote family service, um, but 
British services where large platters of food are set on the tables and guests are actually initially served by the waiters. So what this would, how this would happen is all the food is, is put onto the table and then the, the waiter will come up to you, take your plate and say, what would you like? And they'll portion off the first helping of food for you. Okay. Um, after that initial helping, the waiter kind of, I mean, they're still close by. However, they're not going to give you your second helping. You'll help yourself. The, the next um, method of service is the buffet. Um, you should be somewhat familiar with the buffet because that is what we do here at Leiden when we have our catered events. Um, we use buffet service and we use buffet service because it's usually the, the quickest and it's the easiest for us because we're getting familiar with the catering business and with s proper service and things like that. So buffet is where dishes are set up both cold and hot in a line. Okay, and kind of move, the guest moves their way through the line. Um, it's buffet service is usually regarded as less elegant um, because people actually have to get up. Um, but you can glam up a buffet style, and we usually try to glam our buffet style up by having wait staff available to ex to explain like each each dish and maybe portion off the food. So usually at our light and catering events, we'll assign a student to each dish, depending on how many people we're serving, um, and they'll be able to portion it off, and then you can showcase what you've made, um, and then you'll, you know, people can still come up for seconds and help themselves. You can kind of work it out depending on the type of event. Um, other buffets are strictly just self-service. Um, they could be a combination of self-service and then maybe just a few staff serve choices. Like if you go to Old Country Buffet, they always have like a carving station so you can still get like a nice slice of turkey or ham or beef or something, roast beef or something like that. And then the last station or the last service is the station service. And this is kind of, this is, is really more trendy, um, especially at weddings. This can be regular for the actual meal, or this station service can actually happen for appetizers. Um, this is a modified form of a buffet service. Um, it, the price is going to vary depending on how many different stations you're going to have. But what would happen is small tables are set up around an area, and each station is going to have a different type of food. So for example, um, here on my screen it says an omelet station, a sushi bar, um, a station with just cheese and crackers. I've seen a macaroni and cheese station where you have like the initial macaroni and cheese and then you can put different toppings on it. I've seen baked potato stations. Um, I've seen ice cream bar stations. Uh, th that is where there's all these different varieties. It's just a modified version of the buffet service. I've, I have not actually seen it for an actual meal, but I have seen it for appetizers, and it, it is pretty cool. Um, you can really put really some creative spins on the, the different stations. Um, thank you. Please listen to your teacher for the next guidelines.